Is this your classroom? The Republican-controlled House of Representatives, in an effort to alleviate the effects of the... Welcome, teachers, to this session's professional development. In an ever-changing and globalised world, there is a need for higher education to adapt and evolve its models of learning and teaching. There are two broad approaches to teacher education. One is standardised and benchmarked, and the other is open, imaginative and creative. As teachers, we do not know the challenges that children we work with will face in their adult lives. However, we do know that to meet these challenges, that we need to be creative and imaginative to deal with the unexpected in the future. Imagination is the ability to form new realities and possibilities. Creativity is an active process of shaping, moulding, refining and managing the creative idea or activity. Creativity can flourish into innovation as innovation is the implementation of new ideas to create something of value. Creativity literature states that there are two different categories of creativity. Big C creativity refers to people who have come up with something that makes a difference in the world, so small c creativity is the definition we're interested in. This is the kind of creativity we want to help support students in our classrooms. You as teachers are required to use this theory to challenge students' thinking who are then encouraged to apply critical thinking and questioning to understand the contemporary world. Through a curriculum rich in creative and imaginative possibilities, students have the opportunity to develop skills, attitudes and knowledge that will benefit all areas of their learning and development. Teachers should foster the creative potential for all children and the best way to enhance creativity is through the process of being creative yourself. Fostering creativity also involves allowing and encouraging innovative activities. Teachers need to give students time to experiment, to develop learning styles, and to reflect on creative activities and achievements. The benefits are that students learn new ways to individualise themselves within a developing world. To have imaginative and creative students, teachers need to promote a creative learning environment where students can explore their creative side. This is supported by Csikszentmihalyi when developing the study of flow experiences. In doing so, teachers will encourage students to use creativity and imagination to their full potential.